What is the commands to and then everything and welcome back to another video. And this video is a very improvised set up, but I'm not dead, that's something in it. Yeah. So yeah, today we got what I could just call the train at uh, the train megazord, the Power Rangers light speed train megazord. Yeah, it's pretty old, but you know everything's old in this channel. Get used to it, right? Just checking you can see it all. Uh, sorry, it's lined up so awkwardly. Da 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 even this thing. Uh, we got the obviously old steam engine, a uh, carriage, who the hell knows what this is, some form of cargo, a more modern one, and a more futuristic looking one. All pretty cool looking. Right, um, they can all connect. Pretty cool, but yeah, I would show you, but I just about got these to be able to see them in the first place. I don't want to go messing around with them again. So, yeah, let's do this. Transform them. First things first, you get four and five. So let's get rid of everything else. Just check that over to the side. Let's just look at them all individually. So, four and five. I thought I'd show these two together because they're pretty much the same thing. Uh, as I say, this one's more of a modern looking one. This one's more of a futuristic looking one. This one's got a sort of slice, more of a round, a soft edge. Uh, transform them, same thing. On the back here, you've got these little things that are used for the train mode. You want to fold that up and push this in. I wish I could say that's all, but now you also got to fold this up. And now you've got a leg. Same with four, fold this up, push this in. Done. Done, right? So legs are done. Round round to three. As I say, it's pretty cool. I don't know what it is. Some form of cargo bear, as I said. Oh, so I'm not as active as it can be. But yeah, it's a bit awkward. Just like, who even knows what time in the morning? Uh, so yeah, the three. Um, this thing looks like it could fly. I'm not sure if it could fly, but it looks like it could. Get this thing ready for transformation. What we're gonna do? Fold that down. Spread these apart. Fold that up. On the sides, there is two little things out here. You bend those out. One until you hit a click, and then two until you hit a click. There we go. And then you combine this with the legs. You need to bring the legs over first things first. And on the bottom, you got these little um, what look like rockets at first. But um, all you've got to do is combine, put these little, oh, they're not exactly little, but you, you see what I'm doing. Alright, put A to B, B to C to D, yeah. So yeah, now we've got this thing. We go over to the side, now we're going to get two. So yeah, this is the carriage, pretty much. Um, um... This thing has something in common with three and four, and one as well. They all have cut the different cannons on the front. I forgot to show you that. They all have the all yellow cannons that you can pull out. They all have it on the heads and the back. The three has it on the front and back. Five doesn't have it. I don't know why. They could have put it on there, but they don't. But they didn't. All right. Oh, sorry. Um. So yeah, transform this guy. Rip its front off. And push this in, fold this around, as you can see there's a little clipping mechanism there, clipping this mechanism there, just put those together, and click, and put the front, put the front, there's two tabs here and here, and two tab, and two tab holders as I call them, here and here. So yeah, you kind of want to combine A to B, B to C, uh, just do that basically, just... there we go. 
right? Just go over. Get one. I really like the look of one. It's I don't know how to describe it really. It's pretty cool. Looking. They put a lot of detail into all of these really. Um, they got all the paint. This one, my I think my paint is yeah. It's not a maybe. My paint is faded on the one side of here. I don't know why. I bought this second hand. I don't know what they've done to it, but yeah, the paint is faded on one side. I don't know what they've done to it. So yeah, transform this guy. Again, same as two. Whip its head off. Chuck it on the clips. Again, I don't need to show you that again. Uh, and of course, push that down. Clip to clip. And it's done. Now what we're going to do is we're going to bring our big boy over here. And um, just connect it all together. You got the, the thing we mentioned earlier. Put those into that big bulky circular bit there and just I'd recommend twisting it as well so because um, it's a bit awkward of connection but once it's in there it's really sturdy so yeah and just to end it all I'm not sure how well you can see this I'm gonna check it now oh you can pretty much see it all I'm just kind of moving up slightly uh, so yeah, you can't really see the colours on this like I can. I don't know what's happened here. Um, kind of grab this and bend it backwards to reveal the head and lift these out. You can do a lot of things with these. You can send them out like that, put them in like up, put them inverted like that, put them down like that. As I said, there's a lot of things you can do with it. Me personally, I prefer them to have them up like that. Looks a bit more glorious. And it just looks like something that wants to win the victory all the time. Alright, I have a couple problems with the figure. For starters, it seems that the um, clips on... I'm not sure if this is all of them, but the clips on here seem to be a bit awkward and really fragile, and they've just all snapped there. So basically what's supposed to happen is there's supposed to be two clips here and here, two clip holders, there and there, and it's all supposed to stay up like that, but mine has snapped, the, the person who had it before me has snapped it, and now it just hangs down like that, limply like that, or if it gets a slight bit of pressure, that happens. So yeah, it looks a bit obscene, so I try to fold it up like that a little bit, no, or or try and get it to stay up there, but it just doesn't work, so I just end up like that. A bit floppy. Right, that's one thing. Um, that's pretty much my only thing, really. Uh, I see a couple problems. Uh, actually, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, this thing is actually a pretty cool figure. I do like it's bulky. Uh, I do like how it's pretty bulky. Looks like it's going to win all the fights. But the arms are a bit... I'm gonna just come out with it. They're a bit fat. Like seriously, I can just about wrap my hand around that. Like I, I have average hands for my age, but I can barely wrap my hands around it. This is supposed to be a kid's toy. A kid's toy. And I, at my age, can't even wrap my hands around it. How are the flipping? How are the ten-year-olds supposed to do this? How are the nine, eight, seven-year-olds supposed to do that? It's a bit ridiculous, really. Like, same with the other side. The legs are decent. They're quite skinny. Um, if uh, um Bandai are ever doing it these days, uh, are making legacy figures. So the legacy figure, make sure that you've got skinny arms. They're just it's awful. You can't grab it half the time. Like, it looks excellent in train mode, but in actual Megazord mode, it's awful. Fix it. Right. And also, as I say, my paint job's a bit messed up on, um, on train one. It's all faded on the back. I'm not sure what they've done to it exactly. Yeah, they've done something. And also, um, is that all? 
Yeah, I think I saw. Yeah, uh, on to articulation. Well, how this thing moves, basically. Um, or any cool things. Basically, get 360 arm spin with both. With both arms, you can move these little, and that's it. Well, there is a, one little thing that I figured out I can do, but um, I, it's mainly for transformation, but I do tend to do it a little bit. If I want to mess around with it, I'll get some cool poses. Um, so if I can just get my phone to balance. <sighs> there we go. Balance nicely. Come on, do this for me. Do it. Hey, there we go. Um, what I figured out we can do is that because of the um, joints on it, you can sort of lift his arm up like that. And also you can send it out. If you put it out like that, you can sort of do it in a, in a sort of hug. I can get him to give it a hug. Oh yeah, man, give me a bear hug. Bear hug. So yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit silly, really. But it's fun. You can do it with that or on the actual white bit. It looks better with the white bit because it doesn't look like it's just its joints are coming out. It actually looks like it's sort of doing something it's trying to be nice. Just like, give me a bear hug, man. Come on. Yeah. Uh, as I say, 360. There's something else as well. In the chest, if you move this thing, which I didn't really have to do. Um, if you grab here, there's a lot of storage space. So yeah, you can check any little essentials. I don't really have any, so it's not really pointful point for me. I think it was supposed to be for a bonus thing to come with this thing, but I don't have that. And also on the front here of the oh boy blue, number two, um, you can pull this out and you have short shoulder missiles. As well as these little orange, yellow bits. Not orange. So yeah, on um, three, two, one. And of course, number four. It's a bit awkward to do on four because um, you've got to reach underneath his feet. Yeah, I'm not going to pull it out. I'm not going to go for that at all. Yeah, you can pull it all out. And it looks like he's ready to shoot you. So yeah, pretty cool figure. Overall, I give it the, um, I'm going to give it a solid eight penguin figure. That's the new thing for Toy Reviews now, penguin figure. Eight out of ten penguin, uh, beaks, or whatever, I, I don't know what I'm saying. It's early in the morning, my brain shut off, I'm not, ugh. I was just about to watch DVD, but I thought I should try and get a video out for you guys. I wanted to make it as long as I can. That's probably why I've been babbling a bit. Uh, so yeah, this guy's pretty cool. Got a side angle, some back angles. So yeah, um, also, when you're folding this thing back, I forgot to mention, uh, basically it does it with a clip system. There's a clip that holder there and, an act and the actual clip under here. It's hard to see because it's so dark. So yeah, and it just sort of does that. And also, uh, in articulation, I also forgot to mention, I'm noticing all this stuff right at the very end. It has opposable hands. So yeah, same on blue. Just move the fingers out. So yeah! Look, so, I don't know what that was, guys. I just completely just had a bit of an end. Uh, yeah. I'm going to this video here. If you liked it, tap the like button. Would you be like a good penguin? If you're not a penguin, become a penguin by today by subscribing. My outro is too long and too confusing. I'm just going to have to sort something out. Bye. Got the phone. Brilliant. Bye. Stop.